Hello YouTube, it is me, Ayrton Z, and I am back with the second video in my tutorial on setting up uh, the Synology NAS. So without further ado, let's get in here. The first thing I want to do is go to find.synology.com and it'll search and with any luck my Synology should pop up here and here it is so it found it it is the DS 716 plus uh, and it shows some more information down at the bottom there all I have to do is hit connect and this is not mentioned very much in any of the user manuals but right here for the username and password the username is admin and the password is blank so for my update settings I'm just gonna leave it to automatically install updates twice a week you can see I chose Sunday and Thursday and here you can either create an account or if you already have one you can sign into your existing account so I actually already have an existing Synology account so I selected the second option and filled in my information what I really like on this screen is that's the URL for your quick connect account and it gives you a little bookmark so I just dragged that onto my desktop so I have it available for myself these are all of the default applications on this screen I highly recommend you install these right away um, you're gonna install them probably at some point and when you install these it creates folders for you so do yourself a favor and just install them from the very beginning and here we go that was basically the last step of the setup once you hit go it takes you into the actual GUI and if any of you guys are familiar with uh, Ubuntu or any other Linux based operating system it is very similar um, it has a few little tips and tricks right off the bat um, this is a great great place to come if you have any questions when you're, you're setting anything up on your NAS um, so right off the bat I'll close this help menu um, and I'll go into my file station. File station is where you're going to be storing everything. And you can see on the left, there's my home music photo and video folder. Those were created because I opted to install those apps that I was talking about earlier. Over here on the right, we have a really cool system menu. Uh, this just tells you if your drives are in good condition, as well as any network traffic. If you hit this top left little menu, this is where you're going to want to go to edit your system volume. So you can see right here, that was the system volume menu. And when you click on it, this is where it shows the volume that you're using. Now because my NAS is a two-bay NAS, it automatically selected Synology Hybrid RAID for me. Synology Hybrid RAID uh, is optimal because later on if I ever decide to get an expansion unit um, the Synology hybrid rate is going to allow me to expand it and you can see I have a one disk fault tolerance so I've got two four terabyte drives because after they're formatted they're a little bit smaller I have about 3.5 terabytes of usable space there's a whole bunch of other menu options here and we're not going to go into many of those um, right now we will take a look at them in future videos however anyway guys if you have a disk station that has more drives, you might have to select what RAID type you want to do at the very beginning. I recommend selecting Synology Hybrid RAID because that will be the best and allow you to have the most expandability in the future. Luckily, mine did it all for me. Anyway, this was a super, super quick tutorial on getting started. My next video is going to be on how to import content from other external drives or from your computer, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, trying to keep these videos as short as possible, so let me know if you have any questions in the comment below, and do not forget to like and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.